Um, it, it's great that uh, we can all support this bill, and um, I do so myself. Thank you very much. <laughs> Speaker. I call the right honourable David Carr. Madam Speaker, I also rise to make a very brief call to in support of the tax based erosion and profit shifting bill. Can I start by commenting on the previous speaker, Fletcher Tabato, and uh, say that the longer you spend in the House, the more interesting it gets to know your colleagues, be them from another party. But here is a man who must lead a very dull life indeed if he gets excited by this legislation. <laughs> because he was the only one around this select committee, be it Labor, be it National, that got excited by the legislation. But uh, Whatever turns you on, Fletcher Tabato, <laughs> if you're excited by this legislation, then I feel a little sorry for you. Can I say that, um, unlike the chair of the committee, Michael Wood, who I must say did a very good job in chairing it, I don't need 10 minutes to explain National's position on this legislation. But can I also, for a point of view of protecting Labor's image in this case, is note that this is not a new tax. For a government that uh, campaigned throughout the campaign on no new taxes that, and has now introduced, I think it's up to seven, this is not a new tax. <laughs> Fletcher Tabato was quite right in suggesting that this was very good work done by the former national led government. And in fact, the history of this legislation is quite interesting. It goes back to sort of 2011, 2012, when most of the developed world realised there was a real trouble a real problem with multinationals managing the tax system to their advantage and, in fact, not paying fair tax in any country in which they operated. So, upon recognition of the problem, the OECD was charged with doing some very good work, which concluded at the end of 2015. In response to that, 2016, the then national-led government introduces this legislation and takes it through into the House to the Select Committee and, of course, with a change of government, it's now the role of the Labor New Zealand First Government to complete this process. The tax legislation that's before the House tonight is by nature very complex, and it has to be. Um, this issue is uh, one where some very sharp tax lawyers work for the multinationals. They spend their time living and breathing and finding ways to minimise the tax burdens. Uh, the most common one which has been mentioned in the debate now is by artificially high uh, interest rates being charged by the parent multinational to the subsidiary operating in a country like New Zealand. Another one that we learnt about was, of course, the ability for them to structure a management system or a management fee overcharge the New Zealand operation, minimise the operation in New Zealand. What we want, and it's bipartisan, this issue, what we want is that those companies should be able to operate in a country like New Zealand, but we collectively want them to pay fair tax on the profits that they make in this country. There was talk uh, about quite an important change which we made, and it really at the instigation from memory and the discussion from Dr Deborah Russell. The IRD wanted the ability to go back seven years and suddenly start an investigation into a multinational we did not think that was fair. We think there should be a, an alert from the IRD to the particular multinational of, of an issue within a four-year four time frame, and that that then may then drift on for a further three years. But it was unreasonable for us to suddenly have IRD raising it an issue after three years, uh, after sorry, after seven years. This is good legislation. It has been uh, taken through in a very cooperative, collegial fashion by the Finance and Expenditure Select Committee. It is complicated. I don't expect that uh, it was easy even for the committee members to get their, their head around it without the help of a very good independent adviser, Therese Turner, who gave us good advice. And I think the committee has made good progress in bringing it back to the House this evening. I commend this legislation to the House. I call Chloe Swarbrick.